now i will discuss about the regular expression validation this is not uh, very tough if you understand the regular expression i am going to show you something so that you can understand you see that this is a date required and date but in this example i showed you that if a person give date something like this it is also allowed if you click on submit this is okay for example if you give like this if you click on submit this is also allowed but now i want to give a defined format so that a date must be something like this then this one then this one something like that you see that here it is showing uh, invalid but this is okay if it is this it is valid but i want that a date must be something like that or you can just give here something like that whatever you want no problem but how i will make this validation sorry how i will make this validation i am going to show you in order to do that uh, to uh, make the validation specifically you will not be able to give your date because you have no control on this so in this case what i will do i will use a regular expression validation system before going there i am going to show you another important thing for example here you see that i wrote that things like that uh, in the case of name validation you write the system like this it is this it is this this way but there is an alternate system for example in the case of date i can just write this in another way i can uh, write it in array format like this like this if you write like this it will do the same thing so okay so this way and this way are actually the same exactly no difference in this way you do not need to use the pipe symbol vertical pipe just you can uh, write an element into a single quote or double quote then you can use a comma then another element in this way so anyway that is not a problem at all now i am going to do one thing that is instead of date i will have to use the regular expression so i will have to use the rejects and then a colon symbol you will have to give here and then you will have to give the regular expression system that is to uh, slash then first one will be this and the second one that means the last one will be this and here i will use this one and a plus so this is actually a basic uh, regular expression syntax here and into here i will just use the rule for example a to z is allowed a to z is allowed in this way you can write if you want that there will be something like digit or number etc but i am not going to do that here in the case of date what i will have to do that is i will have to just define how many characters will be there and how for example here i am going to remove this so after using the basic syntax what i will do i will use a backslash of d then i will use the first how many digit will be in first case that means 2023 there are four digits so i use the d4 then i will use a hyphen because i will use a hyphen between the uh, month day and year so i give simply hyphen first year name then hyphen then again another digit i will give that is digit 2 d2 then there will be another hyphen and there will be another digit that will be again 2 so if i write in this way then first is four uh, first four is for the year four digit then uh, for the month two digit and then for the day that is two digit so these are allowed and in this way i set up the rules now if i go here enter now if i want to give date like this format for example submit you see that the date field format is invalid because now this is not valid valid is only like this now click on submit you see that there is no error 
so in this way you can make any type of validation what you want you can use any type of advanced validation there are email validation technique in the regular expression there are name validation technique etc there are so you can do anything what you want i just uh, have shown you one simple regular expression validation if you want to see how you can do the email validation you can search on google and see the code for the email validation using the regular expression and just use that that is very easy but if you want to write your custom validation code then you will have to understand the regular expression concept well i have a video on the php regular expression in my youtube channel if you want you can go there and see that video in order to understand the regular expression very well i have shown every logic there with clear explanation so just visit my youtube channel and then see that you will get the channel link in my portfolio so anyway just uh, i hope you have understood how it is possible to check the regular expression validation in laravel